Russian airstrikes and shelling caused significant damage to infrastructure at the Black Sea port of Odessa, including grain storage facilities. On the other hand, Ukrainian strikes inside Russia continue, and Moscow's defense units repelled several drone attacks over Belgorod and Kurs, destroying at least 11 drones. Meanwhile, Ukraine special forces stated that they killed Russia's top admiral in Crimea, along with 33 other officers in last week's missile attack. The Russian attacks on Odessa are part of a campaign that's made it harder for Ukraine, a major grain producer, to export its products. Remember, Moscow quit a deal in mid-July that had enabled Black Sea shipments and helped combat a global food crisis. The Odessa region governor said that the facilities had contained almost 1,000 tons of grain. Ukraine's military said two supersonic missiles struck the grain storage facilities. Separately, Moscow targeted the town of Bereslav in the southern Kherson region. Russian forces abandoned Kherson city and the west bank of Dnipro River in Kherson region later last year. However, they have regularly shelled different areas from positions on the east bank. Now, as mentioned earlier, Russian air defense units repelled several Ukraine drone attacks over the Belgorod and Kursk regions. Kyiv rarely claims responsibility for attacks inside Russia or on Russian-controlled territory in Ukraine. Ukraine has been saying in recent months that destroying Russia's military infrastructure helps Kyiv's counteroffensive. Both Belgorod and Kursk regions border Ukraine and have been subject to numerous drone attacks. The big question is, did Ukraine kill Russia's Black Sea Fleet commander in last week's missile attack on Sevastopol? Pertinent to note here that Sevastopol is home to Russia's Black Sea Fleet. If Ukrainian claims are confirmed, Admiral Viktor Sokolov's killing would be one of Kyiv's most significant strikes on Crimea. Now, Russia seized and annexed the region from Ukraine in 2014. Ukraine has stepped up its attacks in the Black Sea and on the Crimean Peninsula. Kyiv has said that destroying the Russian Black Sea fleet would significantly speed up the end of the war. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.